What the hell is the new of the grill? Who? And you're about to learn some grill skills. So let's get busy now. So let's go. Of all, you got to check your stuff like a grill that said it 250 with the meat and cheese that's ready to go a towel to keep your station looking cool but most of all you got to have your tool are you with me now get ready we're gonna lay them down now beats got grain to it just like wood you got to follow the arrow to lay it down like you should from the front to the back you got to lay it down space it evenly not scattered around next you got to soft the meat from the back to the front to make the taste complete. Not too little, not too much. With a little finesse, you'll get the touch. What's coming up next is our key to success. We'll turn the meat and do a four corner press. Don't wait too long, I emphasize, or the meat won't reach the proper size. When things start to sizzle, you're ready to go. Gently turn the meat, but don't be slow. Just turn them over easily. We don't want a broken patty, that's a guarantee. Press out the corners, one, two, three, four. Rock it a bit, are right, you keeping score? Top and bottom, left and right, and you'll get a patty that's out of sight. Press out the corners, nice and wide, at least half an inch on both sides. The reason you press, you gotta think, when the meat hits the grill, it starts to shrink. We start shrinking, when we hit that grill, you know it will. We start shrinking, when we hit that grill, you know it will. When you see red juices on the top of the meat, it's time to give the turn and press a repeat. Do it again just like you did before. Do the four corner press just one time more. Now once you press this a second time, don't press them again because the meat's just fine. But when you see red juices rise, turn the patty over to the other side. Don't scrape the grill, we want it wet, you see. And keep the meat moist so it's hot and juicy. When the meat's red juices no longer rise, you can serve that patty, it'll win a prize. It takes about four minutes to cook, but just to make sure you can have a look. Use your tool and double check, it should be gray and moist to be correct. And order this place, you're ready to go. Drain the meat, just like so. Once the draining is totally done, place the patty squarely on the hill of that bun. Now there you go, Billy, you give it a shot. Don't be afraid, I think you're gonna be 